Oh, you know what? I just realized they're probably gonna follow me up here. They are following me up there. That's fine. However, I'm you just, just stab them in the face one at a time. Oh, wow. That worked great. I love how they have, like, uh... Little, little Spanish helmets. Yeah, I kind of like that too. That's Conquistador cool. helmets. That's like one. I do believe so. There we go. Oh fuck me. Mm, you didn't need that. Yeah, I, I do though. <laughs> it's the only weapon I have. Well, how could you sort of break already? This is—they know you're gonna be here, right? You think so? Oh. Now this is different because these are like hots now, right? They're not instant anymore. Yes, this is true. Okay, I'm pretty sure there's a character here who has a broken straight sword on them. Yeah, here we go. Oh shit balls. Yeah, that's exactly why it's good that I kind of did this this way. Let me just get this guy away from the fucking. If you meant, ooh, if you menu, does it pause everything or no? Nope. <laughs> no, that's not nope. actually a difficulty related thing. That has to do with the, the whole way they do multiplayer. Gotcha. You know, that's, oh, that's fine. I don't know how, how fast you were gonna be able to spot this thing out. Fast enough. Oh man. All right. Good call. Good job. Good job, team. Hell yeah. There we go. Utilizing some tactics there. So we we still don't know anything about what this what this guy's doing here yet. Uh no, uh, at least I don't. I know the game is much more centered around the actual. Uh, one thing I like about this game is that the story, unlike the first game, which are, where you're really kind of um, it's all about trying to. Actually, the first game is kind of just about breaking the curse of the undead. Now I think about it. Is it about that? That's not really. I mean, you are undead, but you know that apparently it's about just fulfilling this prophecy, basically. It's literally about being an epic hero, whereas this game seems to be actually about the curses you have. And how you're supposed to be able to get rid of it, or I don't know. But do you ever get rid of it in the first game? Nope. What happens to your character at the end? Just nothing? Uh, depending on which ending you choose, you either burn to death, or <laughs> you become the new human god, basically. Oh, okay. And usher in the Age of Dark, as it's called, which is basically the Age of Men. Now, is that when this takes place, or no? Uh, it would appear, now I could be mistaken, but from what I've seen so far, it would appear that this game uh, is assuming the ending where you choose not to link the flame and usher in the World of Dark. Okay. Cause I'm, and what makes me think that is that the game world is a lot more, like, vibrant. It's a lot more uh, open. Okay, yeah, yeah. Everything really kind of seems more alive. There's clearly, like, a flourishing human civilization still when you talk to certain people, and no one's kind of, like, you know, fretting this uh, curse that's going around fucking people up, so. The archer's still there, right? Or no? Did you kill him? The what? The archer? Is he still there? No, he's dead. Okay. There's that guy who's sitting against the tree. Gosh, gotcha. But uh, I'm not going to bother messing with him yet. He chops souls, man. Yeah, I'm going to go. There we go. See, those are actually just items. Now, how can you tell? Is it that they glow differently? Well, souls you just get automatically. Oh, okay. You see, yeah, the little meter in the bottom right-hand corner. Every time I kill something, you'll that meter goes up automatically. So when I and I'm a, when you see like what looks like a glowing kind of a misty thing on a character, gotcha, okay. that's actually just the item that you drop. Could also be souls too, right? Like uh. The... Yeah, that's true. There can be there can be soul items. Okay. Actually. Right, right. You you consume them, right? Like the first game, so. It's... Uh, soul of a dead soldier, psych lieutenant, something like that. They're yeah. worth so, so many souls. Correct. Gotcha. What I like about that is that, uh, you know, the farther into the game you get, the more awesome the idea. Like, that's another thing where it's, like, kind of worked into the story, where it's, like, you know, the idea is you're really picking up the soul of a person who got there, and, you know, the deeper into the game, the more awesome that person had to be for getting that far. So, like, gotcha. you know, the, the names get more and more impressive sounding. <laughs> Or like soul of a great hero is like I think the, the best one you can get. There's only one of those in the entire game, or maybe two. I feel like all you've done so uh, so far is you've compared to the first game where you were a half hour in. You've you fought so many more things by now. Uh, I guess they assume you've played the first one and you know you don't you don't uh, have to baby too much. Well, I, I will tell you right now. I like or, I mean I think this way? one is harder, like without a doubt. Oh for than, sure, than it looks like Dark it. Souls. 
Like, I'm getting my ass kicked in this game. Now, I don't know. It could just be that, you know, I have played the original Dark Souls so many times at this point that I really kind of, like, know. Know it back, like, the back of my hand. Right, you're used is, to it now. This game is new. Right. But, uh, I believe this game is definitely tougher than the original Dark Souls. But, it definitely is more well-designed where it's... Oh! What is wow, that guy that doing? Close. He's throwing firebombs at me. Will those, uh, hot, uh, heal you up all the way? Uh, or is that set them out? Most of the way. Okay. I'm popping on one of those. Now, so life gems is what you're, you're consuming, right? Yeah, they changed the way the healing works. Like, I mean, last game you had just Essence Flasks. Right, and now I see you don't you don't have those right now. Yeah, well, I have exactly one, I believe. Oh, and it's not even equipped. And I should probably put that in my equipment slot. Oh, I don't have it. Why don't you have it? Uh, because I guess I never picked it up from the Maiden in Black back in the, the little hub town there. That's right, I can get back. Pretty easily. All I have to do is get to the next bonfire. Gotcha. Which is right up here. But now, okay, so uh, it looks like combat's harder, but this life gem thing seems to, like, part, part of the difficulty of the, of the first one, at least, uh, when I played it, was you had to bounce how many times you get to heal, you know, between down, between bonfires. But this, you got 21 uh, health bars here. Yeah, I agree. Or am um, I not seeing that correctly? No, you're seeing that correctly. I, that, I happened to actually choose healing uh, items to start with. Oh, okay. That was one of the options. And I said, yeah, that's that's what I'm going to take. Do you know how much you start with? Uh, it's like three or five or something like that. Okay, okay. And then you have your one SS flask that you get. The idea is you have to find the SS flask uh, upgrades, and that gives you an extra flask. Okay. I think you only tap out, or you max out a prop, maybe ten, or it could be five. So, like, life gems are really more kind of how you're supposed to heal, but, you know, they suck. Because they're hot and it heals you slowly over time. They're not really good for... SS Fox are still instant? They are, but they also refill your health a lot slower than they used to. Okay. It's an interesting uh, system that they have going on here. At first, I thought, like, you know, having these hots that you could just... That you pick up and just find all over the place would make it uh, a lot easier. But truth be told, you go through them, like, really quick. And because you only have one flask, they're kind of more your main way of healing. And your SS Flask girl, like, you're, oh shit, I need to heal. Okay, like, uh, and that's and why, but they give you way, and they give you way fewer of them, though, so it kind of balances itself out that way. Those life gems are found, not bought, or both. You can buy them, okay. but uh, they're fairly expensive. Gotcha. Yeah, but you can find them pretty easily on uh, any of the uh, undead uh, hollow characters. They drop them a lot. Are there any returning characters so far? Uh, no, but again, I'm like barely into this game. Gotcha. I tech, I don't even know if I fought the second boss. I mean, I know I fought. The character who was called the Pursuer. I don't. I feel like he's not an actual boss, though. Seek those. They're so. There. So why are all these people dying around here? Uh, these are people who probably are either dueling or jumping to their deaths. <laughs> I'm guessing. <laughs> you can find out though. Let's see. What am I gonna take Whoa, here? buddy. I'm gonna level up the decks. Actually, I'll probably take more endurance. I remember having have, have, having to have a wiki open for that kind of stuff. Oh yeah, no, uh, it, it's definitely helpful and recommended. Ooh, you know what? Another fun little thing about this game that I enjoy: your character actually gets shittier looking the more he dies. So like when he, <laughs> when you when you bottom out the fifty percent uh, max health, he looks like just complete garbage. Okay, so it's tied to that ten percent health loss every time. Yeah, and you'll also notice like my posture gets crappier. Like right oh, now, really? I kind of, yeah. Like right now, I kind of look okay, but like the more fucked up you get, the more you kind of hunch and just look uh -huh. more. Just I like that a lot. More, yeah, dude, it's really cool. I really, really enjoy it. And it's all, and again, it's like you know, it's kind of like what they did in the original Dark Souls. With you the, can't t go go back, TP back with that bonfire. I can, but I think there's an item here I may have not picked up. Okay. No, no, I totally got it. Never mind. Yeah, we're gonna work back, continue progressing. So you got to select your starting items. They weren't just tied to your class anymore? They never were. I mean, uh, certain, I they were. certain classes do get to have an item. Like the the Master Key, right, was the thief? Yeah, but he's the only one who gets that. And okay. uh, starts with my own. I thought somebody started with a, like an, uh, or an Orb of Health or something like that that only... That was really crappy, but... I don't know. Actually, no, while we get something. Like, um, the Cleric, I believe, starts with a... Uh, 
talisman for casting miracles yep, and, right, and yep, th- yep. you know things like that and that and the thief just happens to get the master key because you know otherwise he's a thief with a knife and crappy gear i think my longest dark souls one playthrough was with like a a light caster i could class i could teleport to bonfires i think and i could throw lightning bolts yeah you played uh you said you got up to ornstein small right yeah yeah and then i didn't get past that well that's like i mean um, I mean, I love Dark Souls up until that point, but in my opinion, like, that's, like, the best part of the game is, I think, uh, when you kind of first get to that point where, you know, you've now killed the, uh, like, the first half of the game's bosses, and the game world totally opens up where you now have the freedom to just go anywhere you want, and you can really, like, explore. And, you know, you can tackle the areas in any order you want, um, like, if you're me, I hadn't even done the catacombs up until that point, because the first time I went down there, I got got effed up. So I did the catacombs after I killed Orange Sand Small. So there was like an entire zone I hadn't even discovered I think I've yet. been there, but only it was completely out of place, though. Um, yeah, for, for, yeah, I don't, I don't recall All right. exactly. I gotta get my game face on here. Game because, face. Yeah. These enemies are... Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hang back, and I'm gonna pull this guy to me so I don't have to fight the other one who's sitting down at the same time. Okay. There we go. I like that they have pole arms already. Oh yeah, they basically thrust you into the ship pretty quickly. Like these enemies are way tougher than the standard like all oh, soldiers sure. from yeah. the last game. It's kind, of, it's ridiculous. Oh shit! No! Oh! <laughs> Sorry, I got him. You didn't quite finish him off with that blow. No, I didn't. Uh, Why are fine. they looking up? Is that just a weird thing? With them? No, that's just the way their helmets are designed. Ah, oh, it seems like they're always looking up. No, they've got like a weird diamond kind of a shape to them, where there's like a point in the center. Okay, I gotta take a look at that. I just thought, like, they were they were uh, hollow and their heads were too big or something like that, and I couldn't, couldn't support it. No, no, just their helmets are kind of funny looking. Did you always get the souls immediately? And in, in, in the Dark yeah. Souls and Demon Souls? Yeah. Boy. I should have been playing it to brush up. It's pretty solid. I mean, like, you know, it is my favorite game of all time. I don't see why. Of all time. <laughs> of all time. Easily. Let's see if this guy's gonna bug out and disappear. Just vanish into nothing. Now, Dark Souls, I mean, like... It's I mean, good. You, well, I don't need to explain it to you. You know. You know how much I love Dark Souls. Almost as much as End of Days. <laughs> uh, end of Days, by far the greatest Arnold Schwarzenegger movie ever made. Let's be real. If you try and say Terminator 2 or Predator or... Yeah, you're just wrong. It's end of days. I mean, come on. I love Terminator 2, though. <laughs> Terminator 2 is pretty good, and a days is way better. <laughs> what? You know, I knew it was a joke, but you said it with such a straight face. <laughs> what are you talking about, man? End of days is the greatest all sports things film of all time. Does you remember all those uh, memorable parts from End of Days? Like, I'm pretty sure he's got, like, an M16 on a train at some point. And then he's at a church. Isn't that, like, religious, too? That's what Yeah. That. Nah, that movie was weird. It is actually kind of, like, when I think about it, it actually is kind of cool. It's not nearly as cheesy as some of his other movies. It's a little bit darker. He does have some cheesy movies. He was in Twins. Oh, yeah. Well, he was awesome in that movie. He <laughs> was like, I'm gonna lift this car up. Do the arm off. Yep. You're dead. There we go. Now, now, here's my question. We need to pop those life gems, right? Yeah. Let's say you're at half health, you pop a life gem, and oh, then you... Oh, I hope I'm... Oh. Oh, yes! You... Survive. And then you take Good more shit. damage. Does it not fill up the damage you take while, it's st- while you're still while it's still charging? You know what I'm talking about? Uh, no, I'm pretty sure it does. Okay. So what's a set amount until it until it goes up? Okay. I'll stab you. There we go. Good stuff. If anyone who is watching is wondering why I'm restarting this game is because we had gotten to a point where we broadcast a chunk of the game that we couldn't keep. So in the interest of having the complete game choosing to start from the beginning. 
Which shouldn't be too bad, because I've now played through this area a little bit with a couple different characters, so I can I can brush through it pretty quick. Listen, that's not sugarcoat it. The real reason is because of the crisis in Crimea. Wait, the what? The crisis in Crimea? Crimea, Crimea is that country oh from God. Ukraine that Russia took over. <laughs> <laughs> Very Which true. I think we should just blame for everything now. Hey. That guy oh. should be dead! Now he's got, he technically, I think, has the tiniest sliver of health. He's gonna kill you! He's gonna no, death battle! <laughs> <laughs> Deadly throw! <laughs> I can't have the dagger equipped. By dagger, I mean throwing weapon, but you know what I mean. I know what you mean. You know what I mean. I'll pick up what you're putting down. Was I there for that? I don't remember. I don't know. It was... I would assume you had to be. Me, Dan, Chloe, Kenny... Dean. Or it might have been Dave though. See, that's what I'm saying. I feel like it I wasn't actually Dave. there to witness that because I and I really wish I was, because oh it sounded God. like it was funny. That was the that was the worst gaming fail of the history of mankind. <laughs> <laughs> how much well, wait, uh, why don't we explain it? refresh my memory column? How that was a five v five this is like Burning Crusade arenas, five v five. And it was me and Dan the Rogue had hundred percent life. I was Arms Warrior and we were fighting another rogue. And a priest, and I killed the priest, and I got the rogue down to like a sliver of health, and I died. And all his dad had to do was deadly throw, he would have killed him. But he had a gun with no bullets, and then the rogue just stealth, sapped him, bandaged himself, and then just killed him <laughs> from a sliver of health, and Dan was full. And the whole time, the best part about it is, is he's just shit talking the whole time. He's like, I got this, this guy's nothing, he's toast, and then just gets fucking rolled. <laughs> Oh, uh, yeah, I love it. Oh. I'm gonna get the fuck out of here. Oh, that, was, that went horribly. What? Listen, I don't know who wrote the rules of this game, but if you're carrying a two-handed sword, you can't also throw bombs. I'm gonna have to agree with that. That's against the rules. Okay, well now that guy's dead, I can deal with these guys a little bit more easily. I'm kind of stoked that they're they're doing the the whole shield and the spear thing. Hey, what do you mean? I like the shield and the spear. It's n it's not a very well used uh, weapon set. Oh yeah. It doesn't well, you know, a... there was um they had those kinds of guys in the last game too, but they were much more rare. They definitely threw them in a lot more commonly in this game, which I also dig because they're actually really tough to fight against. Yeah, they're super long. Well, they're also very like you know they really uh, utilize their shield quite a bit. Like they're very defensive. They're, like you have to either shield bash them or try to. Uh, Try to bait them into attacking you first, but even that's kind of tough because they're, like I said, they're very defensive. They choose very, they're very like the way the AI is written. They're like very good at choosing like openings to attack you. Let me see. Are any fire bombs? Ooh, no, I got five of these. Is there something dangerous coming up? Yes, but also I can do this. No, well, actually. Which is? Hang on a second. You hate those barrels? Oh shit! That doesn't work. What are you trying to do? If I hit those barrels with a firebomb or like a, an arrow or something like that, they'll explode and that wall will uh, blow out and then that's a shortcut. Ah. Actually, remember before, I would constantly walk through the hole in the wall yes! and I'd be standing right here. Yeah. See. But you don't have any firebombs? So uh, currently, no. Okay. So basically, I can't open up that shortcut and I wasted like a few magic bombs. <laughs> which is, you know, whatever. It's not the worst thing in the world. I'll tell you what, you know it's really tough to do to add on to an existing game, make it new, change a lot, because I feel like you're you're so much combat right now, but it still feels like Dark Souls. Oh you yeah. You're fighting so much stuff. Well, Dark Souls has always been about fighting, I mean, tons of stuff. Yeah. Well, I hope... Oh, oh. That's true. Maybe I'm just... I, I mean, it's basically... Maybe a it's different, sp different spacing or some... Pa the pacing trying? seems different. I was with this Maybe yeah. I think I agree. No, I, I do have fun know what you mean. It's really just the way I think the world itself it looks and is designed. It gives it a very, it's got a very different feel to it than the first gotcha. game does. Alright, so this guy's basically, yeah, okay. Oh, shit. Now I'm locking this room. Did you want to be in here? Uh, yeah, there's stuff together. Oh, as long as I don't die first. I like how he just crushes it with his hand. Yep. Here we go. Yeah, I got him. Now let's pick that up. <laughs> I 
feel like the arrows hurt you a lot more too than they used to. Like in the other games, it's like, eh, whatever, shoot me with an arrow if you want to. But in this, it's like, nah, it fucking hurts. It's no fun. It is no fun. No fun. Oh, this fucking hallway. Oh, man. Yeah, no, this part's not great. There's three guys already. Yeah. Oh, you piece of crap. No, oh, I need, I don't want to be in this corner. There we go. Whew. Okay. 300. Shuck and jive. I'm a 300. I'm right here. Yeah! Come on. Come on. Oh. Oh. Careful. Yeah, I need to heal. Uh, let's... Come on. Oh, I don't know. This Play it safe. Need, oh, I can't. They're, they're rushing me. Play it safe. It's all right. Here, here we go. Pop it. I'll pop the health gem. All right. I'm going to try and take this guy out. You're dead. Yeah, got him. Yeah! <laughs> See, that's what I'm talking about. Like, like, like that little encounter with just three trash mobs was like fucking super intense. It was tough. That's why this game is great. Best combat in any game I've ever played ever. I must say. What we got? We got like three guys up here. Fire call. Everybody's dying. And again, we got a lot of these fucking these dudes wielding your spears or halberds. They do move so much faster. No, oh, dude, they're super aggressive. The enemy AI in general. And this game is way more aggressive than it was in the last one. Right. It's absurd. Like, they fucking come after you like it's not, like... like oh, Jesus. Hang on. Dead. No. Okay, now you're dead. Yeah, yeah, yeah! Ah, I got him. Alright, cool. I feel like you gotta... Can you... Can you go... Can you roll left and right? Yeah. Okay. Charging... The uh, charging attack, highly underutilized. You know, that's another thing about this game, too. It's like, you get, like, I'm trying to think. Something along the lines of, like, eight moves, pretty much. Gotcha. Oh, shit. And, uh, those eight moves that you get, like, you know, not a ton. It's not like, you know, not like a you character action. Uh, I do not. I have my broken one, which I can, you know, I can re-equip that. It's fine, though. If I rest at the bonfire again, I'll, uh, I'll repair it. But all the gods come back, right? Yeah. That... That's how Dark Souls is played, though. That's how the game's played. Well, I hope that. I thought I talked to this guy already. I did, but oh. now if I talk to him, he'll give me the white sign, Soapstone. It's a uh, now that's used for? That's uh, that's how I can leave my sign on the ground to be summoned into somebody else's game. Okay, okay. So I can either become human, or there's like items and stuff I can get for it. It's actually a good way to, if you're like playing the game for the first time, oh. you can farm souls easily that way, and also you kind of get to explore the area for the first time completely consequence-free, because if you die... You keep all the souls that you were carrying, and now you know what the area is like. So when you hmm. res, you kind of have a bit more of a leg up. What are you? Gonna I'm do? going to buy a firebomb from the little vendor here, and I'm going to open up that shortcut be a before wise I res the enemy. This is a vendor here. Yep. Oh, oh sweet. Does she actually sell firebombs? I really hope so. Yeah, cool. I'll get a couple of them just to make sure. Gotcha. Ooh, and you know what? She also has the... Maybe she... Oh. Uh, she should buy a backup weapon? Or is it too much money? Well, no, nah, because you know what? I'm not going to res anything, so I'll be able to just open it up, and then I'll just rest of the bonfire, and... Okay. I don't know if you should just have one for... Just to have one. Uh... Nah, it's fine. I'll pick up other stuff. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So now that the enemies are all still dead... I can swing back around, open up that shortcut... I do vaguely remember the shortcuts being a big part of the first one, too. Oh, yeah. They're even more important in uh, Demon Souls, where there's no, like, bonfires or anything like that, and it's just the one arch stone per area. Arch stone is what brings all the enemies back, I guess, in Demon Souls? Uh, well, no, it's different, because in Demon Souls, you just warp into the area at the very beginning, and that's where the arch stone is, and then as you play through it, you open up shortcuts to uh, oh, okay. shorten the level for yourself, and your shortcuts remain permanent, like, you know. Okay, if you die, I but guess. But if you die, uh, you reappear at the arch stone, and... All the enemies. So it's like having one bonfire per area, pretty much. Gotcha. But there's also, I mean, the whole way the game's built is different because it's uh, it's not one interconnected world. It's kind of a... Like, you have your hub and you kind of work to the different levels, which kind of exist. In oh, watch out for that guy. There. Yeah, but he's, he's got a very uh, short aggro radius, so he won't come and attack me unless I get right up in his face. There we go. Did you hold that thing yet, or are you trying to get back there? Oh, uh... No, I did not. Oh, okay. I thought that's what we were, we were going for. That's exactly what we were going <laughs> for, actually. Let's get these firebombs out. There we go. 
Boom. Good job. Ooh, job is good. I agree. I tell you what, I I've, I have on a few occasions dropped into that hole and got myself killed. I've seen it. You drop into various holes and get killed. <laughs> but that specific one. Listen, holes are dangerous, man. Yeah. You never know what's going to be inside them. <laughs> etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. Yep, yep. Alright, kill bash. No, that's not what I wanted to do. I feel like somebody's undead need to be like samurai. Uh, yeah, a little bit. Then we have to like change stance. I like when they they take that sword and they hold it up above their heads. Yeah, you know what they remind me of actually. These guys remind me of uh, like Spartans or something like that. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, they're not that good, but no, certainly not. But they're—I mean—they're tough. Maybe uh, another spear and children guys. So is that turtle guy relevant, or is he just a new type of boss? A Not, type of no, he's just a regular enemy. So there's gonna be more turtle guys? Oh yeah. Nice. Well, presumably. I mean, I technically don't know. I've never fought another one before, but I'm assuming they're <laughs> working Turtle guy's my favorite thing so far. Yeah, he's sick. He's tough, though. I mean, like, he still kills me a fair amount. He's like, uh... Oh, that was bullshit. It's okay. It was wind. Oh! This is almost oh, death right here. Oh, oh, oh. Come on. Oh, shit. All right, hand. Just, just wait a minute. Oh, jeez. Oh, All right. You're All in right. the danger no, zone. I'm, no, I'm doing it though. I'm doing it. <laughs> All right, here we go. Oh, the sword's not as long as it should be. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Whew. Oh crap. Oh. oh. Yeah! Oh, they get you with oh. the combo attacks. That's what guy is. Oh. <laughs> you don't. Like, my god. I'm all uptight now. Woo! Alright. Pop a life gem. Pop a life gem. Oh, this guy's getting killed. Oh, oh no, yeah. no. Are they, do they only show up like that? Well, no. They'll appear when randomly, dead? too. Or no, only just randomly. Yeah. Like, so, like, when you see that, like, just there, that was an actual, like, that was live, or, or, well, presumably, what you're seeing is actually real time. Like, that's somebody actually in their game at that moment fighting against something. Not 100% sure, but that's what I'm told. There probably realistically is a delay of some sort. You know, is it a drawback that you have all these messages and, and blood stains on the ground? Because, no. But, no, no, only for the slight thing... Um, to where you know something bad is gonna happen in the next room. You know what I'm saying? No, I, I think that's actually the whole point. Like, oh, they want you to thing, know that something tough. bad is gonna think happen. Think about how many. Yeah, they, and then they just hurt you anyway. Yeah, well, think about how many times you've already watched me get killed in this game, like early on, and then and then imagine like if I was playing through and I didn't have, um, I didn't already know the area. Like, I I know where all the mobs are at this point. Like, I know where I'm gonna get attacked from because I've already gone through this. You know, this first chunk of the game a bunch of you know probably like three times at this point. Right. If I didn't know any of that, I would get getting killed way more. But the way you kind of mitigate that a bit is you read all the notes on the ground and, you know, ho and hope that the people who are leaving them are leaving, like, legitimately helpful notes and not just trying to dick you over. But then you get those messages that say, just jump in there. Just, yeah. Just jump down the hole. Yeah, and then you die. I've, I think I was tricked by one of those one time. And then never again. Well, because <laughs> usually it's pretty easy to spot them, but they happen to pick a good spot. Like, yo, check, roll down that hole, and totally an item. And I'm like, oh, what's, what's up? And, uh, and it turns out I died instead. Oh, if I was them, I would have totally would have put a bunch of pits to jump in in this game. That oh, gave you, like, secret some? items. Yeah. <laughs> that would be a cool idea. Let's grab that. Yeah, cool. We got a torch. All right, this is going to be a little tough. Now you pick up a torch. I've seen you pass a bunch of, uh, by those little pillars. You can light those up now. Huh? Now does that do anything? Uh, it, yeah, it just it just lights up the area. Okay, so it's not like uh, it's not it... it's not really required for this point because it's you know. Oh oh crap! What, what happened? He ripped his aid, mate. Oh. 
Careful. Oh! They're in the danger zone. Damn it. Uh, died to a shield bash. Well, shield bash. No, you know what? You're right. Their heads are kind of cock wacky, but. Right, okay. <laughs> I was just looking at Anyway, shield bash. Shield bash is legit. It is legit. If somebody, like, bashes you in the face with their shield, I mean, it's gonna fuck you up. Or at least it should fuck you up. Shrug it off. Yeah. <laughs> you're right. Honey badger. I'm giving a fuck. <laughs> I wish a motherfucker would. <laughs> this is the honey badger. Token of fidelity. I've got one of those before. They're pretty good. I recognize that you've traveled worlds, worlds to help others. Did you know that? I did not know that. Did you know what your Japanese lettering on your tattoo says? Nope. Nobody knows. <laughs> It makes me wonder if there are people in Japan who just walk around with words in English tattoos on their bodies. <laughs> Who says that? Somebody says that, right? I'm sure somebody does. I think but, it's a... Uh, uh, I, I specifically haven't ripped that off anybody. I just, I just had that thought one day. I think it's a Louis C.K. does it. And that'd be really great. Like, what do you think? Like, they're just walking around with, like... And it literally just says, Hero. <laughs> <laughs> well, it wouldn't make the same impact because most of them speak English anyway. They take 12 years of English, so, yeah. so, so like, they can't be like, yo, it says hero. Everyone would be like, yo, we know. <laughs> we already know it says hero. Very true. All right. You playing Turtle Man now? No, I'm just, I still, gonna, the whole thing with playing Turtle Man is that... Uh, is he the gatekeeper to, to the next zone? No, we'll have to pull him out of that room. With all, oh, crap. With all those dudes throwing the firebombs at me. And, okay. uh... When all I'm doing that... Hey, is loot random? Like, when you kill that guy a bunch of times, if you die, will, yeah. will he drop items then eventually at one point? Yeah. Okay, so it's random. But, you know, it's, uh, there's no, like, it's rare that you're gonna get, like, sh these shitty enemies will only drop the shitty kind of stuff that they're gonna be carrying on. Gotcha. Like, you're never gonna have, like, But there a is some drop. kind of randomness to it. Not randomness, but there's a chance that he'll drop a crappy sword, too, in addition to souls. Yeah. Or is it in place of, I guess? No, no. Uh, okay. In addition to. You always get the souls, and every once in a while we'll drop an item as well. Is the lockout mechanic still the same? Yeah. Basically the same. Yeah. It's pretty much like your classic... Uh, I always thought it was very awkward, Zola, Zola, Zola. but it, it always seemed to work. It seems like a really weird system. Oh, fuck. You're going to lose all those souls. You just lost all those souls, <laughs> man. You just lost all those souls. Yeah, I know. <laughs> How are you going to do that? How do you... Uh, this, is a, this is... It just happens. <laughs> this is the pain you get when you only play a melee character. Yeah, but you know what? It's more but fun. But when, when you I win... I have more fun when I play, though, so it's you great. You can fist pump more. When you win. Very true. Hey, but I tell you what, though, man, it is fun to go and play a caster and just hang back and just fucking blow <laughs> shit up and just, just nuke the crap out of stuff with spells. You do feel pretty cool. But I always go for like a like my my uh my sorcerer in Dark Souls One was fucking badass. She was uh she had pyromancy in one hand and a caster uh a wand in the other, and then she wielded a magic uchi uh uchi katana. So it hmm. did uh, melee damage based on what her intel was, and I got her intel up to fifty. So and she had just the uh. She had the best, strongest gear she could wield while still being able to roll quickly, and she I just fucked shit up with her like that. That's right. She was a really good PvP character. You PvP have night PvP. Yeah, man. Not like um I, I I'm trying to think of which guild I was. I don't think I was a dark rave with her, but I was still trying to PvP a fair amount. But uh not even so much like uh really like I wouldn't even go after people, I mean just when other people would invade my game. Oh, uh, you'd be like I'd fucking I'd go. fuck shit up, dude. It'd be great. Come at me, bro. Yeah, pretty much. Just hang back, and here when the you know a big uh, trick to PvP too is you hide what you have. Like if I'm carrying two weapons, I'm gonna to not reveal that I have one of them and just fight most of the fight with one weapon, and all of a sudden out of nowhere just bust the other one out. Because when people don't expect or are surprised by something that you do, that's how you can catch them off guard. Aren't spells up. lock on though? So isn't that OP in PvP? Don't they just lock? No, because they're pretty easy to just roll out. Roll oh, away you from. can roll away from them. Okay. Yeah, you can just you most of them you can just roll to the side and avoid taking gotcha. any damage. But you know, if they land, you get freaking you get trash. Was this, that was that katana I used the one from Blight Town? They have the katana I used for a long time. It did uh, like poison. It was like poison. I know which one you're talking. You're thinking of uh, the Aedo, and uh, no, that's not okay. the one I use. I use the because I use the Uchi Katana, which has a different R2 attack. Gotcha. Which I personally like a bit more. Like instead of like running forward and throw, you kind of have just a uh, a stab attack. Okay. You like Jim? Oh, you know what I like that I didn't pull the other two guys yet. Yeah. So now I can just up. So here's what I like. I'm gonna open this chest up, and now that I have this loot, I have no reason to come back out here. 
Got some mail breaker though. Let's see if that helms any good. Ooh. Ah, oh, it's actually not that bad. It's got more style points, that's for sure. A little bit heavier though. Boy, you know what? Fuck it. After I said that thing about like these enemies need to be samurai, this environment and this setting totally lends to like ruins of like feudal Japan. You could totally see them putting on like old like samurai masks and stuff like that. Yeah, a little bit. You know what this game actually also reminds me a lot of? It reminds me of like the PlayStation 1 era Resident Evil games. I'll bring you back on there again. Yes. <laughs> yes, I'm always regret. I did yeah, Resident Evil 4 though. Pretty yeah, good. Resident yes, Resident Evil 4 say was the second best Resident Evil game. Ever. You know what Resident Evil 4 was actually that, that I now that I think about it, Resident Evil 4 is the the 2013 Tomb Raider game, where it's totally different than the originals, and it was like you think that they finally understood how to bring this game into the modern era, and then after that and they then, fucked up. But we'll, well see you what know happens. What, five, five wasn't too bad. Six, yeah, but six it, is it, pretty bad. it was okay game, but it wasn't scary at all. And it wasn't memorable. No, it wasn't memorable. That's was the thing. Like, after you get past that first uh, level where you're in, like, you know, the freaking... The African savannah, like, you know, in the in the ghetto. Yep. Once you get out of that level, the rest of that game is totally forgettable. Oh, see, so he's got that big swing, so you can't really dodge him, huh? Uh, oh, oh my god. Oh, get up. What are you doing? You guys, get up, son. Wow, I, I'm shocked he didn't run in for the kill just there. Nope. Well, you better do something now. Oh, I don't have any asses? That's not good. Okay, so I'm gonna have to... Alright, there we go. There we go, okay. I'm just gonna let my health regenerate a little bit. Oh! Oh! I hate that I'm using the short sword. Oh, man! Oh, get up, get up! Whew. I gotta hurt you. Nah, uh, it definitely did. All right, here we go. Oh, oh man! Oh. Boy, this timing's not going down, bro. No, dude, I'm telling you, that's what I'm saying. Like, they it's learn. Just, they, they adapt to you, and, like, they start fighting differently. It's fucking ridiculous. Oh, oh man. That's here we good. go, here we go. Yeah! We need to find out the turtle's oh. name from Turtles 2. 